What's up friends? Wanted to give you a rundown of uh, what we're doing this week in PE. We are doing a bowling tournament. As you can see, we got the uh, disco ball going on the TV. Give a little bit of ambiance. Turn the lights down a little bit low. And we have like our cosmic bowling. So the way this works is um, I have the gym set up. Uh, let me actually flip the camera. I can show you better. So I have the gym set up in lanes. You can see like each color of dome cones is a different lane. So we have 10 lanes going across the gym this way. And when the kids come in after our quick warm up, uh, I have them help me set up by um, having two kids sitting in each lane. So they partner up. They're going to be doing 1v1 bowling. Bowling pin goes on the back line back there. So the um, jogging line back there on the wall. And then each kid gets one ball. So one kid will come get the ball. One kid will come get the bowling pin. The ball goes on this middle line right in between the dome cones. And uh, the way the game works is there are four point values depending on the difficulty of the roll. So I'll have one partner go stand on the wall and then the bowler will choose if they wanna go for a four point, three point, two point, or a one point. And then they do an underhand roll, try to knock down the one bowling pin. If they knock it down, they get the amount of points that the line that they rolled from is. So like if I'm rolling from this line right here and then I knock down the pin, my partner is gonna reset it. They're gonna get the ball, we swap places and I have three points. All right, so if you don't knock it down, you still swap. You're just swapping places back and forth. One partner on the wall, one partner gets the bowl, and you get to choose the point value that you um, roll from each time. So it gives a little differentiation, a little strategy, a little challenge. After about three minutes, I will uh, stop the music and rotate the partners. So um, once we get the first round started, I explain the game to the kids. They start bowling. I tell them I'm going to have three minutes. Whoever has the most points at the end, we give a little good sportsmanship pep talk. So as they're doing that first round, I walk around and give one person a bracelet um, at each lane. So only half the kids have a bracelet. One person has one, one person doesn't at each lane. So then that helps the rotation go nice and smooth. So after three minutes, I have them sit down, tell your partner a good game, reset the pin, put the ball back on the line. And then the person with the bracelet stand up and I'll just have them rotate one lane over to their neighbor. And then the next rotation, I'll have the person without the bracelet stand up. They rotate the opposite direction. So that way, every three minutes, they're getting to play a new player. And um, if you want to, you can keep track of score and have like an official tournament. Uh, the way I do that is I just have these Landers bucks um, that we print. And after each round, the winner gets paid $1. So I just have the winners come and get $1 from me. And then at the end of class, we see who has the most cash, the most money. Uh, so just a super simple way if you want to keep track of points you can use popsicle sticks or uh, whatever you want um, but the kids get a kick out of the uh, landers bucks so that's what we normally use and then the bracelet uh, hack kind of helps the rotation go nice and smooth so that's it that's cosmic bowling um, you could easily do it over two class periods usually i just do it as one uh, lesson and you can also do two versus two uh, if you have larger class sizes this year we have pretty small class sizes so we're doing 1v1, but if you do 2v2, set it up the same way. If possible, I give them uh, two different gator skin balls, so that way each set of partners gets one roll down to the end. So fun game, a uh, little partner bowling, and hope you have an awesome day. Catch you later. Have fun and teach on. Nice shot, nice shot.